This is a through bolt and it's extremely useful when you're fastening to any masonry surface, especially concrete. You've probably seen these sticking out of the ground at some point and uh, they are very useful. Through bolts like this work off expansion. So it's essential that you drill the correct size hole. And if you look just there at the end you should see that it says M12. So that means that we have to use an M12 drill for drilling our hole. So we're going to fasten this piece of wood to a concrete garage base just to demonstrate how to use the through bolts. You can actually use these for fixing uh, a ledger to uh, a solid brick wall or to a stone wall and they have thousands of uses. These bolts are very common and they're used quite a lot in industry and they can be used for fixing machines down or fixing barriers down as long as you've got a nice piece of concrete to fix into. Obviously before you drill into the concrete you need to check to make sure there's nothing buried in the concrete. One thing you can't do with these is use them for close to the edge fixing. So you can't use them at the edge of a piece of concrete because the actual end bit expands there. If you try using them at the end they're just going to break the actual concrete. The most important thing when you're using a through bolt is to drill an hole, the correct diameter and the correct depth. A lot of people just drill the hole that actual depth which isn't deep enough. Because what may happen is you may come along and think right I don't want that bolting down there anymore. So you come along and you remove it. So you end up with a stud sticking out of the ground. So that means you've either got to go and get an angle grinder and cut it off or you've got to chisel it out. So the best option is to drill the hole, the full length of the through bolts, plus about an inch. And then if you do come along at a later date and realise you, you don't want it there anymore, all you have to do is undo it, take off what it's holding and knock it down with an hammer. And that'll go below the surface of the concrete. And that way you guarantee that nobody's ever going to trip over it. So I've got my drill bit, which is an M12, and I'm just going to mark on the drill how deep I need to go. So we're going to drill it about that depth. So we've now got the piece of wood where we want it, and I've got my SDS drill. And this drill bit is a little bit long for this, but it doesn't really matter, it'll still work. So now we're just going to drill an hole into the concrete. So you can see that we drilled that hole deep enough. So now we just need to remove the concrete dust. So now all we need to do is align the workpiece over the hole that we just made, put the through bolt in, and tap it down. Then once you've got it down so far, all you need to do is tighten it up using a spanner. And that is now perfectly tight. So you can even hit it not going to go anywhere. So that's how you use a, a through bolt for fixing to concrete. But if you decide a few months down the line you don't actually want it there anymore, all you need to do is undo it. Take the nuts off, take the piece off and all you need to do is hammer that down. and then nobody is ever going to trip over that. And what you can do is knock it down below the surface and then just fill it in with a bit of concrete repair mortar and nobody will ever know that the hole's even there.